Hello, Assalamu alaikum, dear student of Standard 6. This is your busiest class with Shakila. In the previous class, we discussed about chapter 5, lesson 1 and 2. And now we will discuss about chapter 5, lesson 3 and 4. Okay, students, open your busiest book and go to page number 43. Here, first we discussed about lesson 3 and 4. Different stages in the evolution of society, hunting and food gathering, horticulture and pastoral society. Okay? Society is changeable. The old society was not like our present day society. The society of today's Bangladesh is the result of long gradual evolution. In course of time, with the development of knowledge and science, the old society quickly changed and modern society of today was formed. Society will change more in future. With the passage of time, these changes of society can be divided into six types. Okay, students, please listen carefully and try to memorize it. Changes of society can be divided into six types. These are hunting and food gathering society, horticulture society, pastoral society, agrarian society, industrial society and post-industrial society. Now we go the topic hunting and food gathering society. Societies that rely primarily or exclusively on hunting wild animals, fishing and gathering wild fruits, berries, nuts and vegetables to support their diet. Until humans began to domesticate plants and animals about 10,000 years ago, all human societies were hunter-gatherers. Okay. The study of hunters and gatherers is important because they are the first people who traveled as nomads wandering and looking for food, water as well as plants and animals for temporary shelter. Okay, now I start to read it. Hunting and food gathering society is the oldest organized society. Okay, listen carefully. What are the oldest organized society? Hunting and food gathering society is the oldest organized society. At that time, there were no permanent houses. Men used to live in caves and woods. Then, natural resources were in plenty. But men still do not know how to produce food using these resources. They used to procure food and go out for hunting in the forest. Okay, here the word procure mean collect. Procure food mean collect food. They used to collect food and go out for hunting in the forest. They moved from one place to another in search of food. Okay, what was the main reason of the primitive peoples moving from one place to another place. These questions answer is search of food. The main work of the primitive people was to collect fruits, fishing and hunting birds and animals. Okay. The main works of the primitive people. Hots are the main work of the primitive people. The main work of the primitive people was to collect fruits fishing and hunting birds and animals. When they could hunt, they could eat. Otherwise, they had to starve. Here the word starve means first. Okay. The women folk used to gather fruits and men went for hunting. Here the word folk means tribe. Okay. Listen carefully. What work did women folk do in ancient time? Okay. What work did women folk do in ancient time? 
collecting fruits this question answer is collecting fruits and what work did men do in inside time this question answer is they went for hunting men went for hunting the strongest man in the group was obeyed as chief of the group okay students who was obeyed as the chief of the group in primitive people listen carefully who was obeyed as the chief of the group in primitive people this question answer is the strongest man the strongest man okay at the time a stone was the only tool for hunting at that time a stone was the only tool for hunting how did the ancient people make tools with okay this question answer is a stone and for this reason this society is called prehistoric or eastern as society the remarkable tools of this society are not a spear harpoon for fishing and needles made of bones okay students now we see the picture of no spear harpoon of fishing and needle made of bones now we saw this picture one by one this is no spear and this is harpoon for fishing and this is needles made of bones okay people used bark of trees creepers if this word creepers means harvest herbs and hide to protect themselves from the cold sun and rain the people of this society could not form a strong organization or institution okay this is the end of this topic and now we go to our next topic our next topic is horticultural society okay first we know about what is horticulture and what is horticultural society a horticulture society is one in which people subsist through the cultivation of plants for food consumption without the use of mechanized tools or the use of animals to pull plow this makes horticulture societies distinct from agrarian societies which do use these tools and from pastoral societies which rely on the cultivation of herb animals for subs subsistence okay now we start to read it in this society men become food producer from food collectors okay in this society who became food producer from food collectors men sociologists say that women had started cultivation first who are started cultivation first women had started cultivation in the primitive society women had the responsibility for gathering fruits women had the responsibilities for gathering fruits okay men went for hunting in the process of gathering fruits women collected wild wheat and barley potted to explant root and tubers now we see explant root and tubers picture okay student this is the explant root and this is the explant tubers sapling grew from sheets of wheat and barley that fell around their dwelling places here the word sapling means young tree or plant okay then the saplings would bear ear of corn and crops they saw this incident and thought of growing crops scattering sheets here the word scattering means throwing scattering sheets means throwing sheets this is one kind process of growing crops 
this stage of agriculture is called horticulture okay this stage of agriculture is called horticulture women made hole with a long stick or animal horn on the wasp land around their dwelling places putting shears in the hole they produce crop and fruits they reap mature crops with the jawbones of animals but they did not grow more crops than they needed okay that is horticultural society now we go to our next topic pastoral society first we know about pastoral society a pastoral society is a social system in which the breeding and herding of domestic animals is a major form of production for good and other purposes okay in the course of social development a start of cattle rearing led the society further ahead besides wood gathering people of the society started taming and rearing cattle here this word taming means domestic cattle. okay students now i ask you a question what society does animal taming belongs to what society does animal taming belongs to okay now now i give also answer pastoral society this question answer is pastoral society the hunters initially tamed the dog and made it a domestic animal the dog was a faithful protector and a hunting companion. Sometimes, wild dogs sent sheep, goats, donkeys, and other animals were caught alive. Men kept these animals tied with rope. These animals were living food and store for them. If there were no animals available to hunt, they slaughtered this animal for food the students here this word slaughter means kill animals kills animals for food okay gradually people began to realize that keeping cows and goats alive can be more profitable than killing them for example they would get milk daily and calf annually calf means a young cows okay young or newborn cows and fur and hide would be used for various purposes thus the increase of domestic animals in the society become an access to people there was no use of currency in the pastoral society but people invented barter system people invented barter system here the word barter means the action or system of exchanging goods or service without using money okay barter means the action or system of exchanging goods or services without using money animals of one man would be exchanged with the animals or anything else of another man However, like the primitive people, the people of pastoral society are wanderers as well. Okay. Wanderers as well. Okay. That's the end of this lesson. Now we go to our next lesson. Our next lesson 5 and 6. The stage of social development, agrarian, industrial and post-industrial revolution society first we discuss about agrarian society okay we know first agrarian society hot my heart is agrarian society and agrarian society or agricultural society is any community whose economy is based on producing and maintaining crops and farmlands okay i think it's clear an agrarian society or agricultural society is any community whose economy is based on producing and maintaining crops and farmland 
Another way to define an agrarian society is by seeing how much of a nation's total production is in agriculture. Okay. How much of a nation's total production is in agriculture? So women started cultivation. Men took the responsibility of farming after the invention of plaque. Okay, students, now we see the picture of plaque. Okay, this is the picture of plaque. Initially, they started chilling, checking yaw on their soldier. Okay, now we see another picture is yoke. This is the picture of block. In course of time, they started using blocks. The use of block and bullocks increased food production. In the areas of flood and siltation, they scattered the shears of wheat and barley on land. These areas were the bank of the Nili, the Sin Basin, and the Basin of the Tigris and Euphrates River. Okay, students, listen carefully. Where they started tilling? Where they started tilling? In the bank of the Nili, the Sin Basin, and the Basin of the Tigris and Euphrates River. This is the answer of these questions. Okay, in that period, it rained heavily in West Asia and Africa. Okay, in that period, it rained heavily in West Africa and uh, West Asia and Africa. So, agriculture gradually developed in these regions. So, agriculture gradually developed in these regions. Students, listen carefully. In which areas agriculture gradually developed? Okay, in which areas agriculture gradually developed? Agriculture gradually developed the region of West Asia and Africa. West Asia and Africa because of heavy rain. Okay, because of heavy rain. Subsequently, agriculture flourished in Africa, Europe and other places of Asia. Here the word flourished means risen. Okay? Flourished means risen. With the spread of agriculture, the necessity of cattle rearing increased further. Agriculture has advanced the development of society and civilization. Population increased in the regions which were suitable for agriculture. People of this society started living permanently. Agriculture ensured man's supply of food and surplus food was produced. Here this word surplus means extra or excessive. Okay, extra or excessive. Surplus food created a class of people who did not work. Some of them took part in business and commerce and contributed to the development of urban life. Surplus agriculture production initiated civilization. For this reason, it is said that civilization is the contribution of agriculture okay now we go through our next topic industrial society okay first we know about industrial society in sociology industrial society is a society driven by the use of technology to enable mass production supporting a large population with a high capacity for division of labor okay um, now we discuss about characteristic of industrial society the economy is industry based first we know the economy is in industry based in industrial society the system of production distribution and exchange in different it is based on use of mechanical power large scale production of goods and use of new technology in the system of Production is the most important feature of an industrial society. Okay, it's clear. For example, is an industrial society because a 
considerable portion of its economy is tied to job that uh, involve mechanized labor like factory farming or auto assembly plants which involve combination okay i think it's clear now we start to read it significant development in agriculture was made in europe in the later period of the middle ages okay significant development in agriculture was made in europe in the later period of the middle ages man's attraction for knowledge and science increased the europeans discovered the knowledge and science of ancient greek and roman tradition okay the europeans discovered the knowledge and science of ancient greek and roman tradition this is known in europe as regeneration or renaissance the men of europe during this time came out to know the unknown to discover the world in the 1492 ad columbus reached america when columbus reached america in 1492 columbus reached america Newton presented his epoch-making discovery of gravitation in the 1685 AD. In this poem, discovery is brought out one after one. Here, the word epoch means era or period. Okay. In the 18th century, steam engine was invented in England. Okay. In the 18th century. when steam engine was invented in 18th century okay in the 18th century and where england and where the sensor is england in the 18th century steam engine was invented in england it brought a revolution in the system of production using the concept of steam engine the scientists invented shuttle or spinning machine spinning means of machines and human employees to produce consume products okay to produce consume product mechanical loom steam ship and rail engine at this time electricity was invented okay in this time electricity also invented Electricity began to be produced with a, a special kind of steam engine named steam turbine named steam turbine. Thus on one hand production started in large factories on the other hand trade commerce and communication expanded by steel ships and railways. In this way industrial revolution started in Europe and the pioneer was england okay in this way industrial revolution started in europe and the pioneer was england the use of coal gas petrol and electricity began in the 18th to 19th century okay students when the use of coal gas petrol and electricity began the use of coal gas petrol and electricity began in the 18 to 19 century railway communication started in the 19th century railway communication started in the 19th century the uh, to satisfy the increasing demand of labor and raw materials in industries the men of europe established colony in asia and africa the men of europe established colony in asia and africa since then there was worldwide impact of industrial revolution the use of aeroplane radio cinema and television began in the 20th century okay when the use of aeroplane radio cinema and television began the use of aeroplane radio cinema and television began in the 20th century okay that's the end of industrial society at the end of agrarian society and industrial society we learn about 
एग्रीकल्चर प्रोडक्शन रिलीज प्राइमरली अपॉन ह्यूमन एंड एनिमल लेबर्स अपोज टू मेकानाइज टूल्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल ए फार्मर इज एन अग्रेरियन सोसाइटी इज लाइकली टू प्ल ए फील्ड उथ ए प्लान पावर्ड बाई हॉर्स ऑक्सन और इवन जस्ट हिमसेल्फ ऑन द अदर हैंड इंडस्ट्रियल सोसाइटी वुड यूटिलाइज ए ट्रैक्टर टू टील द फील्ड ओके Now we go to our next topic. Our next topic is post-industrial revolution society. Here, first we know about post-industrial revolution society. In sociology, the post-industrial society is the stage of society development when the service sector generates more wealth than the manufacturing sectors of the economy. Okay, a good example of this. is the gaming community since post industrial revolution society focus on services and not manufacturing goods if follows that manufacturing has to occur somewhere and leads to outsourcing to other countries usually industrialized societies okay now let's start to read it in the industrial society machine takes the place of man and animals as the source of energy okay machine takes the place of man and animals as the source of energy after the industrial revolution the base of society is knowledge and information the industrial revolution the base of society is knowledge and information the main feature of the society is information processing rather than industry instead of property owners professionals service holders scientists information engineer and people involved in service and recreation become important automatic machine computer mobile phone and various media of communication for example facebook has made the world a global village this process is called globalization okay at the end of this passage we learn about uh, what is called globalization and the main features of the post industrial revolution society the main features of the post industrial revolution society are the economy transformed from the production of goods to the provision of service okay the first one the economy transformed from the production of goods to the provision of services the second one emergence of knowledge elites and professionals middle class okay emergence of knowledge elites and professionals middle class and the third one knowledge and technical skills become a valued form of capital okay this is very important knowledge and technical skills become a valued form of capital okay that's the end of this topic post industrial revolution society and also uh, here we finished our today's class okay students see you soon in my next class in my next class we will discuss lesson 7 and exercise till then take care allah hafiz